Hi Gems, this is Juice and I'm a little stuffy today so bear with me. But this is the video that I promised on one technique to install faux locks on long hair or just longer hair um, without having to wrap the majority of the faux lock. But let me do a quick tip for beginners before we get into the tutorial. When doing a simple braid or plait, always try to start at the root with three equal pieces, which allows you to have a seamless braid and you won't get braid acne, which is what I call when you have the shifts and the bumps in the braids. But let's get back to the tutorial. So I have this simple faux lock and it's pre-looped. And so we're gonna start with that. Gonna, um, and I'll slow this down just so you can see exactly what I'm doing. But I see uh, some people braid it within the braid or loop it within the loop. I am just simply going to add it to the uh, braid without actually attaching it to the braid. Meaning I'm not braiding it in or I'm not sticking the crochet needle through the braid. It's just gonna sit on the braid. And then my next step is to loop Sasha, which is my mannequin model. Say hey to Sasha. <laughs> We're going to loop the ends at the root of the base of her braid. Now, I see a lot of you guys do this first loop and then you stop there. But let me show you. If we stop there, I'll still have a couple of inches of root to cover and then more inches um, to finish covering the tail end of her braid. But we don't want to wrap that far down. That kind of defeats the purpose of using the faux lock. So what I'm going to do is just do another loop to kind of secure the remaining of her hair and have it maybe three to four inches in length, which is what I would be wrapping. Um, maybe three inches of her natural hair and about an inch at the top of the crochet hair. So we don't wanna do eight or nine inches down. It is excessive, it takes a lot of time and it's irrelevant. Um, now this is some water wave hair. It was very long so I cut it in half and you only need a small portion and do not fold this in half because then you're still going to have to wrap more inches down. Fold it somewhere to where it covers the natural hair and just a small portion of the crochet because we're trying to work smarter and not harder and we want to be efficient so we can get the customers in and out but still provide great service okay and um the more you learn the techniques of different things the faster or the better you'll get at installing these type of styles um, but i just wanted to show this one way uh, just to keep you from wrapping the whole crochet lock is what I see a lot of people doing and it's excessive, excessive and it's really not necessary and I'm using the thin tail on the end of the synthetic hair to lock it in place I do a simple palm roll sometimes you may have to palm roll it twice um, but as you can see it's about the same thickness from root to the faux lock so it's not too bulky and it's not too thin it kind of blends in and you want it to look seamless um yeah there you go i'll do another quick palm roll i hope this helps someone and i hope you have a great day